you know, when, uh, when you find that you need to put the bearing um, in a crankcase like this, um, you know, the bearing is really tight and uh, there's uh, a few ways you can do it and this is a this is a low cost tool actually it's a it's a, f a steel tool and it's heavy and that sucker will you know drive it in and then of course uh, you make it so much easier with a heat gun Um, so let's say you, um, you're replacing uh, a crankcase on a crushed saw. Um, this will do both bearings, uh, you know, um, on both sides. And of course, uh, heat will work on both sides. So don't let it intimidate you. Um, you can, uh, you can go to hutzel.net and you know, buy everything you need and you can get the job done. Now they don't sell this, um, not yet. Uh, they very well, they may in the future. Um, but you can get this, as I said, from your steel dealer. And I'll put the uh, part number on the screen for you. Um, just pause the video and write it down. Um, and, you know, anytime you're searching for uh, steel part numbers, uh, you don't use hyphens, you use spaces, uh, you know, between the groups of uh, numbers. Um, for some reason, that makes a difference. Uh, and uh, you really need a, uh, a temperature gun. That would be a, another thing. And I have some uh, heat-resistant uh, gloves uh, because, you know, once you get this thing hot, you've got to handle it. Uh, Something you couldn't see in the video uh, whenever I did it. Uh, I heated it up and I set that bearing right on top. Uh, it fell straight through. Now, uh, I couldn't get it in 15 seconds later. That's about how long it took for me to put my gloves on and move this and pick the bearing up and put it back on top. That window had closed uh, and it was around 230 degrees. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, you know, you might just be able to just place it in there uh, without that. But if you can't uh, spend 15 bucks and have it sitting there and, you know, things will go, go great. I didn't even have to heat the bearing. Uh, so, and to me, that would be the, the piece um, that you do have to heat whenever I'm going to put it on the crankshaft. And I'll, I'll show you that in another video. Uh, but uh, just heating the case and putting the bearing on top carefully immediately, uh, you might be able to push it um, straight down in with your hand. But that'll probably never happen again for me, so uh, I'm just not that lucky. Okay, I think I've uh, told you everything that you need to know. Uh, I, I hate to ramble. Okay, um, thank you. I hope this is beneficial to you. Hello. I have a uh, MS660 crankcase from a Farmer Tech Hudsel MS660 build kit um, that I'm going to put together. And um, I'm, I'm having to replace a bearing in it. And so I thought I wanted to show you um, how you do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a heat gun and I'm going to heat this area. And then I'm going to put this in with the aid of this tool. And then of course the next step will be to put the case together.
I'm going to do what I can to keep it about six inches from the surface. And this isn't quick. The case is made out of magnesium, but there's a coating on it, so we don't want to blister it. The race shows 146 degrees, this area around the inside there. Okay, we're at 189. The inner race looks like it's close. I'm going to go up to 235, 230. Weird. One side of it is uh, much warmer than the other. The side that doesn't have much material over here is warmer than the side that has. Huh. About 20 degrees difference.
Okay. I think I pushed, pushed it in there too far. There we go. All right. I mean, one, it, it was 230 degrees, and that thing just fell through there. Of course, you know, within 15 seconds, uh, that wind had closed up. There we go.